All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, the free. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and might as well use it. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him drive the shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. 
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's in. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really truly really work the entire time if you guys are in close. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And he landed the right hand there. He is all about that left kick to the body. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Three minutes. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, massive kick! Didn't see that one coming. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. They got him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. What? That is how you scramble, folks. Oh, a single collar tie there. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, what a punch. And they separate. Takedown defense holds up. Combo by Lee. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Uppercut to the head, instead it's blocked by Lee. Nice body shot there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Again, back into this position. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, spinning back fist. Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes, it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you would. Tit for tat, who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk, what a fantastic round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Got clip with the right hand. Just misses with the straight right. Single collar tie now. 
beautiful hit. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Shot to the body is blocked. Big, straight left. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Another one, yep. Up oh, and the left hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice body kick. Single collar tie. Slicing elbow lands from the clinch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Straight punch lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That is a thudding leg kick. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Big head kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Ooh. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Punch over the top. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And there comes the separation now. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar side, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Big roundhouse now just misses. Can't take many of those. You better check. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness Let's of go. this fighter defensively. Push, push, push. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Lands with a right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Outstanding output on both sides. Huge shots there. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Trying to double up on that jab. Checks the leg kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. 20 seconds left. Effective strike there by Lee. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Ten minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, 
until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's gonna be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. They continue to exchange. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. What a punch. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Blocks the shot. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! 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 Going for the spinning sidekick to the body, but he missed. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And just misses with that big right hand. Liver kick, if you take this kick, it's gonna set the body off. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stays committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the tour? And they separate. His hands are down. Hide it, hide it. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, that's a good right hand. Huge knee lands from close. Big kick lands. Man, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice. Serve him up. Go get him. Wow. Oh! Oh! Nice high kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw. And that is it. What a performance! Yeah, man, crowd loving it.
just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.